What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name is Lloyd. I have a very special guest, Miss Emily Freeman. Today, we're going to be telling you guys seven things women wish you knew about them. This is probably stuff that might be a difference between men and women that you probably don't understand, and she's probably not going to take the time to explain to you. So, it's really important that you watch this video, and when you're in a situation where some of these things might come up, just be conscious with them. You'll put yourself in the top percentage of guys if you do these things. So, Emily, what is the first one? The first one is that she wants to feel safe. So this looks like walking on the outside of the sidewalk, closest to the street. It looks like opening her doors, pulling out her chair. Those chivalrous moments are not only telling her that she is special to you, but that you care about taking care of her and you can take the lead. One of the things that I think guys don't understand is that when they walk through life, it's not the same thing as when a woman's walking through her life. You know, she's more vulnerable, you know, she's more of a target. And so you can walk down the street as a guy and feel a lot safer than a woman is going to feel like that. And so when she's around someone who makes her feel safe, it's incredibly attractive um, for that person. So just keep that in mind as you're walking through life or when you're with somebody, you know, it's a little bit of a different experience. All right, thing number two is? She wants you to slow down. So I know you have your eye on the prize, you know, getting her on that date, taking her out, but she wants to know a few things about you. She wants to start feeling comfortable around you. She also wants to feel excited about going on the date with you. So make sure that you're starting the conversation in a way that feels like you're not in a hurry. Hastiness is so unattractive to women. Yeah, guys, so one thing that I tell my students a lot is if you first get the phone number, a lot of times like, hey, let's go out for drinks, that's the first thing they send. And almost every single time they get turned down. You know, Sometimes she might say yes if she's really, really interested in you, um, but even then that can cause problems. So talk with her a little bit first. You know, It's the equivalent of you know in the bedroom, if you just go straight for the sex immediately, you want to take your time, do a little bit of foreplay, talk to her, ask her about her day. That's gonna get her warmed up to the level that she's ready to do what you want to do. And in this case, it's go on a date with you. And number three is? It's not always about you. So as women, we have emotions just like you. And sometimes we wear them on our sleeves and that's what makes you like us so much. But at the same time, I know how many of my clients can feel so anxious when they feel like an energy has shifted with a woman or she's not as happy to see him or happy to be around. And I just want you to know that it's not about you. Just like you, there are moments where you're gonna pull away and she'll feel that. It's so important for both of you to understand that these are just cycles of moods that we go through and to allow her the space to be able to experience her own emotion. Yeah, uh, one thing that I've noticed that um, I think is really attractive that women respond to is if they're, the guy is like not as affected by maybe some of her mood swings or maybe if she's having a bad day. Like if she's having a bad day that can't both two people now be freaking right. out, you know, you, right. need to have, you need to have one guy who's like consistent and, you know, stable and, you know, so that gives her space to go through the emotions that she's going through, but not be at risk of it derailing the relationship. Number four. She wants you to open up to her. So this doesn't look like showing big emotions right off the bat or becoming overly emotional. This means that you are able to tell her things that maybe you wouldn't tell other people or would only tell your best friend or your mom if you're close to her. <laughs> she wants to know what are the things that make you tick? What are your deepest desires? What do you want your life to look like? You know, allow yourself to open up to her because this is gonna create a vision for her. This is gonna help her place herself in your life so she can get excited about seeing you. Yeah, guys, I even do this sometimes pretty early on just to show the person that I'm open towards them and it invites them to be open with you as well too. Mm -hmm. So even if it's like a first time you're meeting them, just showing something or saying something that you might not normally tell somebody else for that person will allow her to open up that much quicker with you. Absolutely. This is your opportunity as a man to lead in the dating process and show her that it's safe for her to open up because you're able to open up. And by the way, when we say open up, we're not talking about showing weakness. There's a very big right. difference between opening up and showing vulnerability and showing weakness. Basically, when you're coming out and being vulnerable, you're not at, it's not something that you need her to fix, that you haven't solved, that you're like looking for someone to console you. It's something that you're just honest and open about. Number five is she wants to feel cared for. Ask her how she is, how she's feeling that day. There's nothing better than as a woman having a man want to know how you're doing mm -hmm. and deeply care and be there to listen. Yeah, sometimes if, um, like let's say you're texting at the very beginning, you know, you're texting back and forth and you can sense that she sounds a little different, maybe she's mm -hmm. taking a longer time to respond, maybe her responses are a little, little weird. 
just that's the perfect time to say, hey, is everything okay? Like, you doing all right? Like, yeah. uh, you know, how's your day going? You pick up on that, like, what 99.9% .9 of guys that she's talking to is not picking up on, mm -hmm. she's going to remember that, you know? And paying attention to how a person's doing and showing that you care is, like, a really big sign uh, that you're going to match for her, and she's probably going to be into that. Number six is that she notices the little things that you do. So if she knows that you have a really busy day or you're stressed out at work, but you still give her a call when you can, she's gonna notice this and realize that you're making time for her in your busy and hectic life. Another thing that I would mention too is like when it comes to little things, like women pay attention to how a guy handles situations. You know, mm -hmm. if things get a little hairy or if there's like an argument, she's gonna pay attention to how you handle that. Now a confident guy, a guy who comes forward and um, you know is actually level-headed, is gonna be a more attractive guy than a guy who freaks out. So for instance, maybe you're, at, uh, you're, you're talking to someone and then there's like a, a guy yells at you or something like that. How are you gonna handle that situation? Are you gonna yell back or are you just gonna handle it in a very calm and be like, hey man, it's okay, you know, like we're good here. And you just handle that in a very calm, collected manner. Little things like that, she pays really close attention to. And number seven, the last one. She wants you to lead and make decisions in the dating process. So I know a lot of the times it can feel intimidating to plan dates and to pick where to go and you wanna make sure that she has a good time. But trust me, it is going to be so impressive if you have a plan for the date so she doesn't have to think about it. This allows her to show up relaxed and present with you, not having to think that she has to make decisions about where you're going or what you're doing. Yeah, and the leading comes down to even when you walk up and talk to her. Let's say you see you see a pretty girl maybe at Starbucks or you see her walking down the street or something like that. You leading and coming up and taking the first action in a respectful way, we'll teach you how to do that, um, is the right way of going about it. It's a very masculine, very caring thing to do. Absolutely. Be the one to call her, be the one to text her, be the one to initiate another date. Cool. Well, those are the seven things, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, hit the notifications bell as well, too. Uh, Emily, thank you so much for coming on. If people want to find you, where can they find you? It's on Instagram at Emily Freeman Coaching. Cool. We'll put a link to that below. Thanks a lot, you guys, and good luck out there. You got this.